Hey guys, well, the time has come for me to part ways with the SIG X2. Uh, she served me for many years since 2013, and I've always referred to it as the little meal that could. Uh, she's pretty much done everything I've asked her to do. Of course, there comes a point where she can only do too much, so I've kind of outgrown her over the years and I just really don't have space. I've got her crammed into the corner here of my garage uh, and I've got the G0602 here. Everyone knows I've got the Precision Matthews so I really don't need the X2 any longer. I kept her around for the last couple of years uh, simply because the power draw bar I was the part there was a parts that I was running consistently uh, on the X2 and it involved five tool changes and that was just a real pain with the Precision Matthews until I got the power draw bar working on it and the belt drive but now that that's complete it's uh, time to let her go so what's all included well you get the SIG X2 a Harbor Freight milling machine uh, completely converted to CNC. Uh, the CNC conversion is my CNC conversion that was based on CNC fusion with the exception of the Z axis which I go down the center which prevents binding and it's just a whole lot better setup in my opinion. Uh, it comes with the belt drive. This is a belt drive that I've made. Got a high and low speeds but for the most part I've always just run it in uh, I just run it in high comes with the power draw bar some TTS collets these are uh, some that I made they work really well I've used them again for all these years so there's uh, six of those it's going to come with the little small compressor for the power draw bar it's going to come with the three inch machine of spice and the clamps to hold these down. The CNC conversion consists of uh, three 425 ounce stepper motors. I uh, still have the original motor on here. It served me well. Uh, it's going to come with the computer, computer, keyboard and the control box. This is a control box that I built uh, and there are videos posted on YouTube for this. It's going to come with the Xbox controller which you can use to move the machine. It comes with the air spring conversion over here and like I said the uh, power draw bar so makes uh, tool change really quick and let's see um, the speed on this I still have it controlled by the potentiometer I never did switch it over to full CNC And 35 somewhere around in there for the top speed it's going to come with the this this is just a bur uh, I have this connected to an air pump that just kind of blows uh, air onto the tool path to kind of blow chips out of the way it works really well and then I give it a spritz of alcohol every once in a while to keep the tools for coolant. I don't run flood or mist or anything, however you could. Um, it'll come with the enclosure and also the workbench if it's a local pickup. Uh, for shipping, I don't think I'm going to be able to ship the bench. However, everything else should fit on a pallet real nicely and I can ship it. It's going to come, like I said, with the air pump. So I think that's about it. Uh, let's see, let's uh, reference the machine here. I've got
got it set up in to after it referenced to go back to the center of the work envelope. Uh, this machine has a four inch by eight inch work envelope. And it has about eight inches of travel in the Z. Here we are running a little G-code. Alright, it's asking for the asking for the tool from my tool change macro. that I normally run. some code all right guys so anyone interested in the my CNC converted SIG X2 I'll leave contact information in the video description I'll take a look at uh, any reasonable offers thanks for watching guys please if you want to see the X2 in action you can go back and check out some of my uh, earlier videos on it I used this for many years Thanks for watching, guys, and most importantly, be safe.